Your supplies must be dwindling by now. Beep, beep. Oh my god, what's going on? Beep, 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 beep. My bullcrap meter's going crazy. Beep, 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 and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Plunder Pass. So like previous seasons, we're going to be talking about whether or not you should buy it. Of course, it's going to be up to you. But I'm going to give my thoughts on what I think about this season's Plunder Pass. And I think some people are going to be surprised what I have to say about it. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and go through all the different levels of stuff that you can get. We're going to skip over the Ancient Coins. But just so you know, the Plunder Pass gives you 250 Ancient Coins, and that adds to the Free Pass, which also gives you another 250, making a total for 500 Ancient Coins. I know last season a lot of people were confused, and I saw a lot of comments about that, so I just wanted to make that clear at the beginning. So at level 1, you can unlock the Vulnerable Weapon 2 pose. So it's a little interesting, I don't know why they went, like, what's the difference between 1 and 2, other than, like... 1 deals with your first slot, and 2 deals with your second slot. I don't know why they wouldn't just give us both of them in this, but hey, I think these look pretty cool. You know, you can't really tell much based off the little image, but I love these weapon pose emotes. I think they're pretty cool, and they let you show off your weapons in a different way than you have been before. And it's also like 4 emotes in 1, basically, just depending on what weapon you have. So, alrighty, that's a pretty strong start for me. I, I really like that. Next, at level 10, you get the Jacko Looter Flag. It's just a flag. I mean, I'm not going to say, oh, it's amazing, or, or oh, it sucks, because there's not much to say about it. For me, it's not something I'd probably run too much. I just don't really like the coloring with it. You know, it's like green and dark red and stuff. But... For what it is, I think it's pretty good. I don't really have much complaints about it. At level 20, you get the Jackalure Pistol. This one looks pretty cool. I like it a lot. And like we'll see later on with the rest of the set, everything in this pass goes well together. Unlike previous seasons, Plunder Passes, Plunder Pass actually feels like it has a theme with it. So I really like that. It's something I've been wanting from Sea of Thieves for a while now. So, I don't have much to say on it. It doesn't have a sight at the end, which anyone that knows me and watched some of my previous videos knows that I really like having a sight at the end of my pistol. But I'll still give this a try if I do get the Plunder Pass. And I think it's not too bad. Alright, at level 30 you get the Jacko Looter Hole. This one's a pretty nice hole. I mean, like the flag, I wouldn't say there's too much to say on this. However, I do really like... At the front, you can see like the branches coming off with the different leaves floating off of it. I think it just looks really nice and almost looks like a mural on the hull of the ship. Next at level 40, we have the Jacko Looter Eye of Reach. This one's a really nice one. I think this looks a little bit nicer than the pistol. I think making the Eye of Reach kind of look like branches and then having vines wrapping around it makes it look really nice and cool. I really like the coloring on it. I don't have much to say on it, but this is probably one of my favorite weapons out of the ones that we got in this pass. Alright, next at level 50 we have the Jacko Looter Sails. This is a bit of a disappointment for me to be honest. I don't know. I get what they're trying to go for with this, but it kind of feels like this is like the base version of the sails and there's probably like a collector's version that hasn't come out yet. That's just what it feels like. To me, I think it would have been cool if they went with a little different style for this. Like, I mean, it's Jacko Looter Sales. That's what it's called. Like, could you get like a scary pumpkin or something? I don't know. I think that would have been a little bit cooler than a giant red leaf with gold around it. But moving on, at level 60, you get the Jacko Looter Cutlass. I think this cutlass looks really cool. I really like the curve that they've been doing with some of these swords. We saw this with the Champion of Souls event. And I think some other events in the past, but that's the one that comes to mind. 
I think like having the sword that looks like this looks pretty cool. I think they could have done a little bit more with it, to be honest. I think it would have been cool to have maybe more vines wrapping around, maybe the blade or something. But I'm happy with the way it looks. I think it could go cool with many outfits. Side mention, at level 60 you also get my favorite reward in the pass, the whole pass this season. And that's the Captain of Candles. I know it's not part of the Plunder Pass, but I just want to mention it. I think it looks really cool with all the candles on it and stuff. And will go really well with some of the other cosmetics we've gotten in past seasons to make your ship kind of look like a ferryman ship. At level 70, you get the Jacker Looter Wheel. I really like this wheel. You have the little pumpkin in the center, and then you have all the leaves spreading away from the base of the wheel. It just looks really nice, and I bet this will look really cool in game with the rest of the ship set. I absolutely love this wheel, and it could be a key factor in determining whether or not I try to get this. At level 80, you get the Jackal Looter Blunderbuss. This one's cool, you got a lot of like, I don't know if these are vines, they kind of look more like roots to me that are growing along the Blunderbuss. And it's similar to the sniper and the pistol, where it's kind of like tree, wood feel to it. Which, that's cool. I think that's a really nice way to go with this. I think this set is looking really cool. And it's got two of my favorite colors, orange and blue. So, I already like this a lot. I don't have too much to say on it, just because I don't really use the Blunderbuster Sniper that much. So... These cosmetics don't really do much for me. At level 90 is the Jacker Looter figurehead. I think this is a cool looking figurehead. However, couldn't you just give us like a Jack o' Lantern version of this? Like, come on, Sea of Thieves. This would have been so cool to have. Like, you have a Jack o' Lantern face, and then you just have like the. like a glow from the inside. Like, I have like a bright orange glow or maybe some like fog coming out of the jack-o'-lantern face that would have been really cool watch them make a collector's version of this figurehead and do all of that i don't know i would have liked to have seen something like that in this but i still really like this figurehead and i think it's a good one but then we get to level 100 probably the best thing in this whole plunder pass and that's the jack of looter costume this looks hella cool. I love the jack-o'-lantern face on it. And then you have like all the frills going along his jacket. It just looks really nice. But that's it for the plunder pass. And if we're going to summarize what I'm thinking about it, I actually think I'm probably going to get this plunder pass. I'm not in love with all the cosmetics in it, and I don't really use the blunderbuss and sniper. So that's a little bit of contention for me. And I think this would be an absolute buy if it was priced at, say, 5 bucks instead of the 10 bucks. I don't think there's enough cosmetics in here worth the 10 bucks, especially since you have to kind of grind through the season to get to it. For someone like me, of course, I'm going to get to level 100, but for others, they might only get to, like, level 40 or 50. It depends on how long you play for and what do you do when you play. There's some people, like me and my girlfriend, we'll just get on and we'll go fishing for a while. You'll get some renown for that, but you're not going to get enough to get you to level 100. So you really have to see what is your playstyle. We know that these cosmetics will probably come to the Emporium later on. See if these have said that these aren't exclusive to the Plunder Pass. However, past season's Plunder Pass rewards haven't all come back yet. Even some of the free stuff like the Barrel Hide Emote. We haven't seen that come yet, at least from what I know. I've been looking for I haven't seen it. In my personal opinion though, if we take out the criticism of it's $10, it's probably not justified at that price. And also I think that there should be more ancient coins in it. I've said that every season so far. I don't think we're going to get that. So I'm just going to base this off of the cosmetics alone. And based off that, I think this is the best plunder pass we've gotten in all of the four seasons. And I think we'll see better plunder passes after this too. I like the way that Sea of Thieves is heading right now. I have a lot of hope based off this new season. 
and some of the stuff that we've gotten. If you haven't seen the video I did a few days ago talking about how to use Microsoft Rewards to get the Plunder Pass, you should check that out. That's what I'm planning to do. I'm almost to that point where I'm going to get the $10 gift card for Xbox. I'm just going to use that to get the Plunder Pass, I think. Because I actually do like this Plunder Pass and there's certain stuff. I really like that Jack-O-Lantern costume. I want that. Even though I can't, I gotta be honest, I don't know how much I'll use it. Because I tend to go for like the slimmer look. I really like that. And I really like some of the other cosmetics, like the modes that we got in there. I like some of the ship cosmetics. I especially love that wheel. I think the wheel looks really awesome. I think we were missing some stuff though. I would have liked to have seen the cannons and the anchor. I don't think we got those in the Plunder Pass this season. I don't know why they like limit themselves to only having one every 10 levels. Like, I expected after the first few seasons of them like trying to pick up and start getting stuff prepared for the future seasons, I figured that the cosmetics would ramp up as well. In some ways, I feel like we've seen a decrease. I, I may make a video later on talking about the free pass, but I think this free pass that we got is actually a lot worse than past seasons, especially those tier 100 rewards. Like, I'm sorry, you can't compare the last several seasons having a Pirate Legend reward at the tier 100 that was like the Pirate Legend Curse. Then you had like the Ferryman figurehead, that was great. And I think for, what was it, season 2 you had that hole, it was like a green glowing hole, that looked really cool. We have all of those, those are like my, some of my favorite cosmetics now. Then you get to this season, where the Pirate Legend reward is a telescope. And not even like a really interesting or cool one, it's just like a regular white one. And, I don't know, those are my personal thoughts. This video is mostly focused on the Plunder Pass. So if we're just talking about the Plunder Pass, I think it's great. There's a few weak spots, like the flag and stuff. And I think it would have been nice to have a few more cosmetics in there. But... For me personally, I think I'm going to get it. I really like it a lot. And it really just depends on your playstyle. If you think you're going to be able to finish the whole pass, then it might be worth it for you. If you only like like one or two things from the pass, you probably would be better off just waiting for it to come to the Emporium later on. But those are just some of my thoughts on this season's Plunder Pass. I'd love to hear what y'all think in the comments below. Check out some of the other videos we have on the channel. There's going to be a lot coming out these next few days. Either they'll all come out today or they'll come out in the next couple days. And of course we'll have videos every week after that as well. So if you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you left a like and subscribe. Check out some of the other Season 4 content we have on here. And that's all I have. Thanks for watching y'all and I'll see y'all next time. Bye y'all.